Hello beautiful humans! Hey, it's Jay and welcome back to the channel. We are continuing the hunt to fill our lot up with hopefully one of our dreamies. I have 30 tickets for today's hunt and let's get started! I also want to say thank you so much to all the giveaway winners. You all have been super sweet and the fact that I won't be able to give you your villagers right away just because I'm still stuck on this hunt. So fingers crossed that I find somebody this time around. So then Sherb and Anka, oh, that's not dreamy. Um, so that Sherb and Anka can go to your islands and this is Biff. Yeah, the hippos are alright. But I hope you all have been doing good so far and that the start of February has been kind to you. I guess this isn't a bonus video. I'm I'm hoping I can edit this one quickly. Um after my la my next after my last AC video, ah, words, I'm playing after work, so I apologize if my voice sounds a little bit, like, tired, or I guess not as, ooh, what's this? Diner, dining table. That reminds me that I need to make, like, a restaurant on my island because I still haven't done that. <laughs> um, but yes, I do apologize if my voice is a little rough or... If the brain fogs happen more often, it's 5.42 p.m. right now where I am while I'm filming this and I just finished work, but I thought I would try to see if maybe a villager of our liking, ooh, who's that, um, would show up. Oh, it's, it's pecan, 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 I don't know what the right pronunciation is, I feel like it's like the tomato, tomato. Thing. Um, but this is Pecan, Pecan, um, she's super cute. She was on my list for potential snooties to bring to my island when I first started Animal Crossing and I didn't know about Vivian or Julia, um, but now I have Vivian and I think I want Julia more than Pecan, but she is a super cute squirrel. Once again, I feel like the squirrels just... Oh, there's this new anime. Um, I think it's called God's Design Team, and it's basically a bunch of people who are designing, like, it's all about the thought process of how certain animals were made, and, like, for some reason that popped into my head, I'm like, whoever was in charge of the squirrels for Animal Crossing, they really put their effort in. Okay, is there anything else on this island? Let's see, and also, we passed 800 subscribers, which is kind of crazy um low-key i teared up but thank you again for all the love and support on this channel um okay let's go home wilbur yeah pecan is cute but we i would rather bring home the peacock but yes thank you for helping this channel reach that goal of 800 subscribers that is it just, it just warms and fills my heart and I'm giving all of you a virtual hug right now because you're all so sweet and in the comment sections too. Um, thank you for sharing your bubble tea orders and shows that you're currently watching and whatnot. It feels like I'm talking to friends and that's what I, I consider you, you lovely humans. Okay, next island. It's the baby duck. This is Joey. Fun f oh no, is it baby yeah, Baby Duck is also a name of a champagne here in Canada, and whenever I see Joey, I automatically think of that. Please only drink responsibly. Um, I feel like I should insert that here. Um, but Joey is cute, just not the lazy I'm looking for. If we were I was going to go for a lazy, I would hope that I find Eric again to bring him to my island. And Steph, if you are watching this, please give Eric some more love for me. Bamboo Island and Pinky name a more iconic match. This is so cute. I feel like if I had a panda on my island or even like Paco, I'd want their houses like surrounded with bamboo. You deserve a wife, Pinky. You're cute. Yeah, what else have I been up to? I've been getting back into flower breeding. Um, 
Just because I feel like my flower breeding has always just been like, oh, this happened accidentally. And then one of the uh, winners from my last giveaway actually gifted me some flowers, um, some of the rare ones. So thank you so much for that as well. But I'm trying to, oh, it's, oh my, Billy, Bubbles, Bertha, the, it's one of the Powerpuff hippos. Bertha. Yes, it's Bertha. <laughs> Yes, yeah, so I did come all the way from Papala. What was I saying? Um, I only have two left to breathe and then I will have all of the flowers. So if you have any tips on how to get the orange... Oh, beep, 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 you know? I forgot that I had a net for a second. <laughs> um, let's grab that. Um, and what's the item here? I'm just grabbing items because I feel like I don't have a lot of new things coming into my nook shop uh what was i saying beforehand but yes flowers i think the only ones i have left oh it's old man goat who's actually a, a jock I, I would feel like he's a lazy or cranky but i think he's a jock from what i remember billy billy what's your personality type again yeah jock but yes if you have any tips on how to breed the orange hyacinth and then the purple pansies those are the only two that for some reason i can't breed on my island so if, if you have any tips and tricks on how to get those help your girl out okay wilbur where did you take us next but yes i love all your comments and like all your different boba orders i think i said my go-to boba order if it's a new place that i'm going i will always try their brown sugar milk tea or they're like whatever their signature drink is oh it's savannah again once again i feel like she deserves more love she's super cute and like it's a very unique look like out of the horses i think that she has one of the best designs like she looks really cute if you're looking for her, please give her... If you're looking for her, I hope you find her. And if you have her on your island, please give her love for me. She She's a cutie. I just have a soft spot for the normal. I feel like if I was an Animal Crossing villager type, I would be the normals. Just because I guess normals with a bit of peppy or the pop star because I do love singing, but I also just like sitting and reading books. My friends describe me as an extrovert with introvert tendencies. Um, we're really into like the personality stuff, so if you're ever curious, my Meyer Briggs type is an ENFJ, which people are always like, they, I either get yes, that's so you 100%, or like, I don't see you as a ENFJ, so I guess that's part of the Meryl today. If you know your personality type, oh, it's the Hamilton Lion. I'm gonna get a scholarship to King's Cup. My sister and I have watched that three times and I have to stop singing it um, just when like certain words come out. But I'm not gonna throw away my chat on this lion. You're not getting the lot, Lionel. Um, so yeah, I would say, uh, yeah, I'm kind of curious. If you do know your Meyer Briggs personality type, leave it in the comments below. I know another common one is the... I'm probably going to pronounce it wrong. Anagram. Anagram. Um, with the numbers. I'm a type 1, I think. And it kind of aligns with the ENFJ. So I feel like it's very true. But comment down below if you know your MBTI. Oh, it's a froggy. Is this Tad? I always get the frogs mixed up. Oh, it's Prince. If you know your MBTI. Or if you thought I was a different MB. TI personality type. I, I'm i very curious about these things just because I think they're really fun. Like, I don't, I don't take them so seriously that they define my life, but I think it's, it's really interesting just for insights, I guess. Also, if you have any shows that you recommend to watch, please let me know. I'm currently rewatching My Hero Academia or, or Boku no Hero Academia. Just because I, I don't know what else to watch. I watched Bridgerton. I liked it, it was okay. Is that Nana? Oh, it's number seven. 
I wonder if anybody will get that joke. If you got that joke, then please, please let me know. <laughs> I don't know if there's anyone here who speaks uh, Japanese, but if you do, konnichiwa, watashi no mai wa Jamie desu to eiko to nihonko ga hanasemasu. I don't even know if that sounds right. I learned it with a Osaka, uh, I guess, dialect or tone to it, just because that's where my dad was when I was growing up. And so I don't speak it with like the Tokyo um, tone to it or like the standard tone. And sometimes people get weirded out, even with Korean, when I speak it, because I'm not Korean nor am I Japanese. I'm Filipino. I was just a very bored child who liked learning languages. So also for any, I guess, Korean followers or subscribers out there. Um, I don't really use my Korean a lot nowadays. Um, or my Japanese. One of, I guess, my first real jobs was working with international students um, at a university. And so I would use like my, my Filipino, my Tagalog, um, my Japanese, my Korean a lot more than, oh, this, I was going to say Leo. It's not Leo. It's Tony the Tiger, but a yellow version. It's like the knockoff Cheetos that you used to get, like the no-name ones. Um, that just had like the the yellow. <laughs> is that is that too much of a weird niche Canadian joke? I haven't talked to Filipino on this channel before yet, have I? Or uh, I guess I'll say something. Kamusta sa lahat ng Pinoy ng dito? Oh my gosh, why do I feel so awkward talking in Filipino? It's my first language. Um, but maraming salamat sa yung lahat sa support ng channel to at sa I don't know why I feel so awkward speaking in Tagalog when it's my first language in comparison to Japanese and Korean for some reason but yeah it's do you speak any other languages and if you do what are they I love languages and I think that's where I really liked working at the internet with international students just because I got to pick up different things um I used to work with like the Thai students. Um, I learned French in part of school, but like je ne sais pas parler français. My sister speaks French a lot better than I do. Oh, is this airport crocodile? Airport alligator? Or is it a boat? I forget which YouTuber I was watching and they said it was a boat. But it's, I, I think he's an airplane. He looks like an airplane to me. Like, even his tooth kind of looks like a, a folded up wing, although I don't think you'd want a folded up wing on your airplane. Oh gosh. Um, but if you speak any other languages, very curious. And like, how did you learn them? I picked up my languages just kind of growing up. And oh, it's a mouse. Which mouse is this one? Is this the one that reminds me of Shirabu from Haikyuu? Yes. Um, for any Haikyuu fans out there, did I make a Haikyuu reference in my last video? I don't think I did. Oh my gosh. Um, for any Shirabu fans out there, he has the same haircut. <laughs> Just like, look at him. I feel like one day I could totally do like a Haikyuu inspired island. One day. Um, but I feel like I still need to work on my island. Like, I have been so lazy with just, like, making stuff or doing things to it. Like, the only thing that will always change is, like, the little entrance to my island and, like, some seasonal decorations. Speaking of seasonal, how do we feel about Festival? I watched the update. I also, I feel like I'm more excited about the Sanrio characters potentially coming abroad and potentially being able to live on your islands than I am for festival which sounds so sad but I feel like Chai and Tia just belong together and so oh it's Eloise or Eloise Eloise this is just because of I was watching Bridgerton I cannot 
do a British accent, but uh, the mama, Eloise and I would like a cup of tea. A cup of tea. I I'm, I apologize if I've offended any. Oh, no, no, no. We'll talk to you, Terry. Um, if I apologize any of my British subscribers out there, I know that was probably a really bad accent um or an attempt at an accent i don't know when i was in the uk i could pick it up a lot easier and here's to hoping one day we'll be able to go am i just gonna get hippos no 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 next island <gasps> oh it's judy but judy's not on my list i don't know okay but the thing is she would be a good I don't know is she, do, do people still like her? Would she be a good giveaway character? But I still have two people waiting for their giveaway characters Ah, uh, Judy What do I do? It's okay I don't know You know what? No, I have mm, I'm stressed I am stressed um, no, I can't, should, I? no, I am not going to take her this time around just because I do have two villagers that are lined up to be given away to you lovely humans, and so I don't think adding a third one to the mix just because I don't want everyone to be waiting, um, on their villagers, so I'm going to leave her behind for now, and hopefully... We will see her again as a potential giveaway villager. Or if you have suggestions for giveaway villagers, also leave them down below in the comment section. You can leave anything down below in the comment section. I love interacting with the comments and I try to answer every single one of them. Uh, yeah, goodbye, Judy, for now. Am I going to regret this? Or maybe she's a sacrifice to get a dreamy on this hunt. I'm going to use that positive thinking instead and hope for that but let's see who we get after judy is it going to be a dreamy will it be agnes will it be gladys will it be it's marina she also used to live on my island um and i had just picked her up because she looked cute and i think i had two tickets left and i was like okay yeah i'll grab her but i did enjoy my time with her it's just that i had so many normal personalities and while i do love the normals i wasn't sure if i could have an entire island of normals like normals i think are one of my favorites um lazies are also just cute they just they're, they're the babies of the islands like every single island that i've visited or gone to the, the lazy villagers like the baby so um if you ever get sure please take good care of my baby while i try to find my other baby air okay it's bamboo island let's see who is here i have two tickets left oh no oh oh is this bruce this is um, on my, Bruce is on my sister's dreamy list. Actually, she's been looking for him as her cranky. Um, just because, and this is going to be such a very obscured, once again, like Asian culture reference. Um, Boys Over Flowers, the 2018 version, or Meteor Garden as it's commonly called. He reminds her of um, Dao Ming Si. I'm not sure if my pronunciation of that Chinese was right. I was taught Chinese as a kid in school in the Philippines, but I, I, like, I'm pretty sure it's very butchered. Like, how do I say what's my name? I don't even know if that's right. I'm so sorry if I mispronounced that. Oh, is this Wendy? Huh. Whenever I think of Wendy, I think of Red Velvet. <laughs> Um, oh yeah, if you have any music ones, I'm trying not to sing as much, but, you know, it's hard to do. Actually, maybe we'll sing while we choose an outfit. What's a song that I have been really vibing to lately? Um, hmm. Who 
kiss by star signs I'm hardwired to be with you You're like a sunrise And I'm scared that I'll never get enough of you Nobody called it a star fall Come out the blue <laughs> While we cry um, That is Feels Like This by Mini C. Peters I think it's the last cover I did on my channel So feel free to check that out But this is the last set of tickets So let's do the backwards countdown Okay, so the first of the last set Is Cake Island And let's see who is at the top what was I talking about we were going through the, all the stuff with Orville? Yeah, um, oh, it's Eugene. Eugene used to live on my island and he was the first, well, one of the first that I kicked off. Hi, Eugene. Goodbye, Eugene. <laughs> um, I'm trying to think of anything interesting that I haven't mentioned before. I'm running a virtual marathon of Mount, oh, it's a lion of Mount Fuji um, online, which has been pretty cool. And once I complete it, they send a medal and everything. So that's been really fun in terms of trying to get motivation to work out because if I, I don't know, I'm a very, I wouldn't say competitive person, but competition is very motivating to me. So that has been fun. Oh, okay. Number eight is also Cake Island, who is at the top. It's a lion. <laughs> I don't want my last set of tickets to be lions. Why are you always lying? I'm sorry. It's, it's a lot later in the day. Now, I started this at five-ish? Yeah, okay. Let's see. Where, who are we going to get on Bamboo Island? Oh, it's, uh, I call him Sherv's older brother. I feel like, yeah, I feel like if they were on an island together, Kid would be Sherb's older brother. What? 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 It's nice to see you, Kid. Whenever I think Kid, though, I think of Soul Eater and Death the Kid, which is probably another weird obscure anime reference but if you have any suggestions for like movies tv shows even books that you think i would really like please leave them in the comments below i read and watch a lot because i have nothing else to do at home this is swimmer rat rod i like that he knows how to coordinate an outfit and it makes sense that he's a jock in his attire but then you couldn't take that swim cap off him. That would be really painful to have on your head for a really long time. <laughs> I don't know why that's what came to my head. Okay. After swimming rat, we have... Who do we have over? Okay. It is... Oh, it's Apollo. This is my sister's birthday twin. Yeah, so she was born on 4th of July. I was going to call it America Day, but I'm pretty sure that's not the right one. Please don't take offense. I am Canadian and we call July 1st Canada Day, so I wasn't sure. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's always cool to see him. I think that they find, I'm hoping to find Agnes, because Agnes is my birthday buddy. Um, and she's my dream sisterly before our shared birthday um, in April. So hopefully I can find her before then. It's hard to believe that it's been like a year of Animal Crossing. And I still play this like regularly. I feel like my island should look... Actually, no, I got this after when it first released. I got this for my birthday. So I got this like April, May, actually. Oh, is it Demon Monkey? Oh, it's Demon Monkey. Like, I feel like someone would like her. It's just that her eyes kind of creep me out. Like, she looks like she's seen some things. Like, yeah, like, she looks like she's seen some things. Like, she's staring deep into my... Look, see, when she does that, it looks like she's staring deep into my soul. 
Um, but goodbye, Tammy. I'm sure someone out there loves you. It's 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 just not me. <laughs> okay, Pear Island. I found Dom on this island. I'm not even sure if I'm gonna keep Dom. Is that? I don't know. I really like Rudy as well, potentially for a jock. But I also don't want my entire island to be cats because. For Crankies, I'm potentially thinking of getting Kabuki. I don't know who else I'd want for a... No. <laughs> okay, we left He Who Shall Not Be Named on Bamboo on the last island. Let's see who's here for Bamboo Island. I'm also trying not to move my chair a lot because it's very squeaky right now. Is this the David Bowie? Yeah, this is the David Bowie. Bowie? Bowie? Once again, English is not my pet um yes astrid nice to see you um i am not your pet i am my own person i i hope you enjoy this family island and i hope you're taking better care of your joey <laughs> okay uh that was my ninth ticket so this is the last one for today's hunt uh my fingers are crossed but we'll see who we get and i just want to say as always thank you so much for supporting this video for supporting this channel and for just being overall like beautiful humans with all the positivity that you leave in the comment section it's very motivating as a content creator to see all the good vibes and so i really thank you for that Thank you again to our giveaway winners for being so understanding in the delay in getting your giveaway prizes. Um, I don't know if we'll end on a good note or a bad note here, but we shall see who we get. <laughs> and, um, as always, the Taurus in me has to say, I hope that you're taking care of yourself and that you're doing well, you're staying safe. Um, here where I am, we are back in lockdown, so I hope you- oh, I thought that was ketchup for a quick second. No. Who are you, sweetie? Freckles. She's a pop star. She could be part of the country pop star trio. There, what was it? Gabby? Freckles, and then there's another one I feel like really gives that vibes. Um, but we're ending off today's hunt with Freckles, but as always, I just want to end off by saying that I hope you're doing well, staying safe and taking care of yourself, and that I love you and all your support, and yes, I love you to the moon and back, and I will see you in my next video. Take care always. Jay.